What if the Wright brothers had given up after their first failed attempt at flight? What if Steve Jobs had never met Steve Wozniak? How different would our world be today if even one pivotal moment in technological history had gone another way? The story of technology is not just a tale of invention and innovation. It's a saga of human perseverance, curiosity, and the unrelenting drive to push beyond our limitations. From the steam engine to artificial intelligence, let's embark on a journey through time to explore how technology has shaped our world over the past two centuries. Our story begins in the early 19th century Amid the clanking gears and billowing smoke of the Industrial Revolution, the steam engine, perfected by James Watt in the late 18th century, was powering a new age of manufacturing. This allowed factories to be built anywhere, not just near rivers. It also enabled mass production on a scale never seen before. As factories sprung up across Europe and North America, the very fabric of society began to change. Rural populations flocked to cities, giving birth to the urban landscapes we know today. But this rapid industrialization came at a cost. Pollution, poor working conditions, and social inequality became pressing issues. Yet the march of progress continued unabated. In 1807, Robert Fulton's steamboat, the Clermont, made its maiden voyage up the Hudson River, heralding a new era of transportation. By 1830, the first intercity passenger railway opened in England, shrinking distances and connecting people like never before. The railway didn't just move people and goods faster, it standardized time. Before railways, each town had its own local time, but for trains to run on schedule, we needed a standard time. This led to the creation of time zones, fundamentally altering how we perceive and organize our days. But perhaps the most revolutionary invention of this era was the telegraph. In 1844, Samuel Morse sent the first telegraph message from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore, uttering the prophetic words, What hath God wrought? Indeed, the age of instant communication had begun. For the first time in human history, messages could travel faster than physical transportation. This would have profound implications for business, journalism, and even warfare. The telegraph was the internet of its day. It compressed time and space in ways previously unimaginable. News that once took weeks to travel could now be transmitted in minutes. This changed everything from how wars were fought to how business was conducted. As we move towards the latter half of the 19th century, another force was about to revolutionize the world, electricity. Thomas Edison's perfection of the incandescent light bulb in 1879 quite literally brought humanity out of the dark ages. Edison didn't invent the light bulb from scratch. He improved upon existing designs, making it practical and long-lasting. This illustrates a key aspect of technological progress. It's often about refinement and practical application as much as it is about entirely new ideas. But Edison's rival, Nikola Tesla, would push electricity even further. His alternating current system would eventually power homes and industries across the globe. The war of currents between Edison's DC and Tesla's AC was more than just a business rivalry. It was about establishing the fundamental infrastructure that would power the 20th century. Tesla's AC won out because it could be transmitted over long distances more efficiently. As electricity began, to illuminate homes and pour new inventions, another revolution was brewing in the world of transportation. The internal combustion engine, developed in the late 19th century, gave birth to the automobile. Early pioneers like Carl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler paved the way for a transportation revolution. But it was Henry Ford who would truly change the game. Ford's moving assembly line introduced in 1913 didn't just change how we made cars. It transformed manufacturing forever, making goods more affordable and accessible to the masses. The assembly line was about more than just efficiency. It created a new kind of worker and a new kind of consumer. It made complex products like cars affordable 
to the average person. This had enormous social and economic implications. As the world entered the 20th century, these technological advancements were about to be put to the test in the crucible of global conflict. The outbreak of World War I in 1914 saw technology applied to warfare on an unprecedented scale. The airplane, barely a decade old, was quickly adapted for military use. World War I saw the first large-scale use of technologies like tanks, submarines, and chemical weapons. It was a brutal demonstration of how technology could amplify humanity's capacity for destruction. But it wasn't just weapons that advanced. The war spurred progress in fields like radio communication, aviation, and medical technology. The interwar years saw the rise of mass media, with radio bringing the world into people's homes like never before. But dark clouds were gathering, and technology would once again be called upon in service of war. World War II accelerated technological progress at a terrifying pace. Radar, jet engines, and early computers all emerged from the crucible of conflict. But the most ominous technological leap came in 1945 with the detonation of the first atomic bomb. The Manhattan Project that produced the atomic bomb was a turning point in the relationship between science, technology, and government. It showed both the incredible power of focused scientific effort and the terrifying potential of that power. The atomic age had begun, and with it, humanity gained the power to destroy itself. But as the world recovered from war, a quieter revolution was brewing in laboratories and universities. In 1947, the transistor was invented at Bell Labs, laying the foundation for modern electronics. This tiny device would eventually replace bulky vacuum tubes, paving the way for smaller, more powerful electronic devices. The transistor is arguably one of the most important inventions of the 20th century. It's the building block of all modern electronics. Without it, we wouldn't have computers, smartphones, or any of the digital technology we take for granted today. By the 1960s, mainframe computers were crunching numbers for governments and big businesses. But these early computers were enormous, filling entire rooms and requiring specialized operators. Early computers like the ENIAC were primarily used for scientific and military calculations. The idea of personal computing was still science fiction, but that was about to change. As computers were getting faster and more powerful, another technological race was captivating the world's imagination. The space race was in full swing, culminating in 1969 with Neil Armstrong's historic first step on the moon. The Apollo program was about more than just beating the Soviets to the moon. It drove advancements in material science, computer technology, and countless other fields. Many technologies we use today, from memory foam to cordless tools, have their roots in the space program. As the 1970s dawned, the stage was set for a revolution that would bring the power of computing into homes and offices around the world. The 1970s saw the birth of the personal computer. In a garage in California, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak built the Apple I, helping to usher in an era where computers would become household items. The PC revolution wasn't just about technology, it was about democratizing computing power. Suddenly, individuals had access to computing capabilities that were once the domain of large corporations and governments. Companies like Apple, Commodore, and IBM brought computers into homes and schools. Software companies like Microsoft began to create the programs that would make these machines truly useful. The development of user-friendly operating systems and software was crucial. It's not enough to have powerful hardware. You need software that people can actually use to do meaningful work. As personal computers became more common, another technology was quietly laying the groundwork for a global revolution. The internet, which had its roots in the ARPANET project of the 1960s, was slowly taking shape. But it would be years before it became the ubiquitous force we know today. In the early days, the internet was primarily used by researchers and government agencies. The idea that it would one day connect billions of people 
and devices around the world seemed far-fetched at the time. As we entered the 1990s, the stage was set for a transformation that would reshape nearly every aspect of human society. The 1990s saw the World Wide Web burst into public consciousness. The creation of the first web browser made the internet accessible to non-technical users, and suddenly, information was at our fingertips. The early web was like the Wild West. Everyone was figuring it out as they went along, but even then, we could see the potential for it to change everything. E-commerce giants like Amazon and eBay were born, forever changing how we shop. Google's search engine made navigating the growing web possible, while social media platforms like MySpace and later Facebook began to redefine human interaction. Social media didn't just change how we communicate, it changed how we form and maintain relationships, how we perceive ourselves and others. It's had profound effects on everything from politics to mental health. The dot-com boom and subsequent bust demonstrated both the enormous potential and the risks of this new digital economy. But even as some internet companies failed, the technology continued to evolve and integrate into every aspect of our lives. The dot-com bust was a necessary correction. It weeded out a lot of unsustainable businesses, but it also set the stage for the next wave of innovation, which would be built on more solid foundations. As we moved into the new millennium, a new form factor was about to put the power of computing and the internet into our pockets. In 2007, Steve Jobs unveiled the iPhone, putting the power of a computer in our pockets. While not the first smartphone, its intuitive interface and App Store model would reshape the industry. The iPhone wasn't just a phone or even just a mobile computer. It was a platform. By opening up the App Store to third-party developers, Apple created an entirely new ecosystem. Smartphones and tablets have since become extensions of ourselves, changing how we work, play, and connect. The app economy exploded, giving rise to services like Uber and Instagram that have reshaped industries and social norms. The rise of the gig economy, exemplified by companies like Uber, has fundamentally altered the nature of work for millions of people. It's created new opportunities, but also new challenges in terms of worker rights and economic stability. The mobile revolution has also had profound effects in the developing world, where many people's first experience with the internet is through a mobile device. In many parts of Africa and Asia, mobile technology has leapfrogged traditional infrastructure. Mobile banking, for instance, has brought financial services to millions of people who never had a traditional bank account. As smartphones became more powerful, they enabled new technologies that are now at the forefront of innovation. As we approach the present day, we find ourselves on the cusp of another technological revolution. Artificial intelligence, once the stuff of science fiction, is now a reality, powering everything from voice assistants to autonomous vehicles. What we're seeing now is the result of decades of research coming to fruition. Advances in computing power, big data, and machine learning algorithms have made AI practical in ways we could only dream of a few years ago. But AI also raises profound ethical and societal questions. As AI systems become more powerful and autonomous, we have to grapple with questions of accountability, privacy, and the potential for bias. How do we ensure that these systems are used in ways that benefit humanity as a whole? Beyond AI, other cutting-edge technologies are poised to reshape our world. Blockchain technology promises to revolutionize finance and beyond. Virtual and augmented reality are blurring the lines between the physical and digital worlds. VR and AR have the potential to transform everything from education to healthcare. Imagine a world where a student can take a virtual tour of ancient Rome, or a surgeon can practice a complex procedure in a fully immersive environment. And on the horizon, quantum computing threatens to upend everything we thought we knew about information processing. Quantum computing isn't just about faster computers. 
it has the potential to solve problems that are practically impossible for classical computers, with huge implications for fields like cryptography, drug discovery, and climate modeling. As we stand here in 2024, looking back on over two centuries of technological evolution, we're left with as many questions as answers. How will AI shape our future? Can technology solve the climate crisis? What innovations will the next generation pioneer? One thing is certain. The pace of change shows no signs of slowing. The journey that began with steam and steel now propels us into a future limited only by our imagination. And so, we return to our original question. What if? What if we dare to dream, to innovate, to push beyond what we think is possible? Because in the end, the story of technology is our story. It's the story of human ingenuity, of our triumphs and our challenges. It's the story of our relentless quest to shape the world around us and, in doing so, to reshape ourselves.